Have you chosen not to take a cruising vacation due to fear? Fear of the unknown? Fear of missing out on a different option? Fear of stepping outside of your comfort zone? You get the picture. Like in many other areas of life, is fear holding you back? Let's break it down. First, there are the external fears. Like, will my cruising result in someone else's disappointment? I find this is especially true within families, as younger adults start to actualize vacations that are more about their own lives than returning to the nest to visit the family, or as young families grow and feel that taking the kids to see the grandparents is the only appropriate choice. When I was in my 20s and not making a lot of money, traveling 2,000 miles home to see the family every year or two seemed to be both expected and the most important thing to stay in touch. Saving up the money was always challenging, and in the long run, while I loved seeing my family and friends, I rarely felt well rested after this type of vacation. This in turn leads to guilt, or a fear of feeling guilty. Choosing to spend money and time on vacations that are entirely about your own joy and adventure may leave you feeling like you've disappointed someone else by not spending the time with them. I think the key here is that you have to ensure you are taking just as much time to care for yourself as you are for others. If that self-care looks like spending time with your family in your hometown, then that's the right choice for you at that time. However, if taking care of your own needs looks like giving yourself the gift of downtime where you don't need to have a lot of responsibilities, then those that love you should also want that for you. And better yet, maybe they would want to join you. Next, there are our primal fears. Whether that's claustrophobia, fear of heights, fear of flying, fear of water, or any other fear that is personal and deeply ingrained in you, these fears have likely held you back at some point in your life. There is nothing I can say here today that will take those fears away for you. Some people are paralyzed by fear, but some people are motivated by fear. The hard part is taking that first step. Arm yourself with information, work on your inner dialogue and coaching, and become the person you want to be. You don't have to take on everything at once. Just know that if your fears around cruising are holding you back, the cruising community is kind and supportive and are an amazing resource to address some of the core fears you may have. In fact, it's very likely that many other people have shared those same fears and concerns at some point and would be happy to share how they faced and overcame them. Fear is temporary, but regret lasts forever. Finally, there are the irrational fears that may not be entirely logical and may only make sense to you. I'm so excited that I'm afraid this trip isn't going to live up to the hype, so maybe I just won't go. Something will definitely go wrong, so we shouldn't do this. I'm traveling solo, but what if I feel lonely? I really want to go, but maybe this just isn't the right time. Maybe, maybe, maybe. We are all human and we all experience doubts. Letting those doubts paralyze us allows them too much power over our lives. If you are traveling solo and you want to make friends, go out in public, be friendly, join in activities. If you'd rather have a quiet time by yourself, then learn to enjoy being by yourself and enjoying your own company. If you are sure something will go wrong, it almost inevitably will. Failure to plan is planning to fail, but you don't need to plan every detail. High energy booked activities are great, but so is a nap at two o'clock in the afternoon. Trust me. And there will never be a better time to start cruising than right now. You are going to miraculously become less afraid or anxious, but you can become braver. Psychologist Jordan Peterson has said, the quality of your life is directly proportional to the amount of uncertainty you can comfortably live with. Much about cruising is actually fairly predictable and within your control. For the elements that are not, like the weather, behaviors and personalities of others, or if you will like a certain kind of food at a restaurant, you still control your response and reaction. And by being brave and trying out something a little outside of your comfort zone today, you may find something amazing to experience for the future. Cruising is an adventure. Are you ready to try something new? What fears are keeping you from trying out a cruise vacation? Let me know in the comments. Join me next time to learn more about researching the many cruise options available, and I hope to see you all at sea.